Hello everyone, Dana 14th Prime here. I want to do a quick update pre-order video. I'm out on the Bambaland 3A website. They have just recently posted up for pre-order a few figures, Squeaks, Bumblebee, and Optimus Prime of their premium action figure line. These are awesome high-end collectibles. I have a video of their Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime on the channel, which I'll leave a card for and you can check out if you haven't seen the figures. But 3A sells directly uh, through this Bambaland website and they package exclusive items uh, when they do so for their Transformers line. So when I bought my Dark of the Moon, I bought it through 3A Bambaland to get the, uh, the Blaster exclusive. So with these figures, you'll see they've got a few order options here. Let's just kind of check out. Here you got Optimus Prime. He's 450 bucks. You can pay straight away now and wait until Q1 of 2018 assuming they hit their delivery timeline uh, or they have here you'll see kind of a deposit method 250 bucks with the balance due at shipping uh, they're basically the same in terms of what you get it's just sort of a flex pay option which is nice because I remember when I bought that uh, Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime it's 430 bucks and basically waited a year before I had that in hand so this kind of helps uh, alleviate some of that cash flow pressure you got B over here, 390 bucks, or with a $200 prepay option, 190 on shipping. And then Squeaks, he's just straight up uh, up here, $198. Looks like you just pay for him uh, pre-order, prepay. So if we check these guys out, Squeaks here, these are all officially licensed. He's about eight inches tall, 26 points of articulation, LED illuminated eyes, interchangeable handlebars, uh, detachable tools, and a peg leg. And his exclusive includes interchangeable wheel leg. So let's just kind of check out some of the picks here. So there he is. It's going to be a simple piece, eight inches tall. It's not big. It looks very well detailed and weathered. You look at all these kind of cracks and rust and everything. So, I mean, 3A does a great job with paint applications. I was really happy with the uh, Dark of the Moon figure that I have. I guess that's the peg leg, the wheel, some of those extras you get with him. Uh, I won't be picking this guy up, but it's kind of just interesting in that they're really taking a new breath to the line for the last night. So I'm expecting we'll probably see even more figures with this movie than we saw with the previous releases from Dark of the Moon, where we had Optimus Prime, Megatron, Starscream, Bumblebee. I think that was it, if memory serves. I'm just going off memory there. Optimus Prime here, I pre-ordered him last night, did that deposit method. method. Super cool, you get the shield, the sword, you get a head with the red um, kind of paint there, and will probably be purple eyes, we'll see, I'm speculating, but that is uh, relevant to the movie. Just look at all this great, all this great detail. Really, really nice. So this figure looks just badass, it looks really cool. It's got, this is the exclusive, this, this long knife thing. Uh, so that's the exclusive for Bamba Land. You can see how those all peg together on the back as well. And then you get a regular head. So you basically have Age of Extinction and The Last Night covered with the two head sculpts you get. And there's everything. Sword shield, battle mask, extra head, some blades, and other little things there. 19 inches tall, 99 points of articulation. They count every little thing when they do that. Like if this thing, if this shoulder piece moves, which it probably will, you know, that's a point. Um, so they're, they're well articulated, but you know, 99 points of articulation is, is more than what you'll actually probably be using. Then Bumblebee here. I'm on the fence with Bumblebee. Again, these things are big, so it's hard to kind of just buy them all and, and stack them everywhere. Uh, I kind of like my collection to look pretty clean, so I don't clutter it up with a bunch of stuff. But this B looks nice. That's the exclusive, this arm cannon got a battle mask, the hammer, these doors on the back, they detach, fine. There you can see him looking pretty good. That's the one thing with B here, just that I'm sure it's all accurate, 3A, it's officially licensed, they have everything to, to do the design correctly, but he kind of looks just like skinny and small a little bit. I like Dark of the Moon design a bit better, I think, personally close-up of that cannon which has an LED light and I believe he's got LEDs in the eyes and then also 
he's got lights somewhere. I don't exactly see where they are, but he has some other probably headlights or something. Maybe they're in the chest here uh, that light up as well. But there you got the battle mask, the gun, the hammer. And if we flip back here, again, he was 78 points of articulation, 15 inches tall. So there's some scaling between him and Prime, though it's it's probably not perfect, which was the case with the Dark of the Moon figures as well. LED illuminated details, including eyes and headlights. Again, detachable wings are the doors, the Cybertronian hammer, and then the battle mask. And then again, the exclusive is the right arm cannon with LED lights as well. So pretty cool. Um, I know some people prefer to order domestic if you're in the States or not have to prepay anything, particularly with the long lead time. Again, for me, I think for the exclusives, it's worth the prepay, you know, half the price, which is how they offer it now, which is, I think, a much better option than it used to be, where you had to pay entirely in advance. But this will pop up, I'm sure, Sideshow, Big Bad Toy Store, kind of all your usual places, and you can do what suits you best. I think Sideshow might be a good option for folks. They've got payment plan options or pay on delivery. You get the 5% back Sideshow rewards, which will basically pay for your shipping probably. Uh, so that will be an option. Big Bad Toy Store, you know, they'll probably have these same list prices. And though they have that $4 shipping option going on now, I don't know if that will be applicable to uh, big figures like these. I would be surprised. But something to check out before you buy. So check for links in the description below. I'll link Bambaland just so you can jump out here and check it out. And uh, when it goes up on Sideshow, I will link that as well. All right, guys, so excited for these things. Unfortunately, we'll be waiting until at least probably March of 2018 and likely later. If delivery is anything like uh, the Dark of the Moon figures, it'll be a bit delayed. All right, guys, hope you liked the video. Thanks for checking in. I'll see you next time.